it's cocktail time. It's winter, and winter is the perfect time for a whiskey sour. So stay tuned and watch me, or at least this part of me, do my very first whiskey sour on screen. Never tried one before. Had the idea when I was driving, because after all, that's what you do when you're driving, you think. So I thought that given Imbue's wonderful uh, whiskey, their sherry cask, that that would make a killer whiskey sour. So if I was going to try whiskey sour for the first time, I was going to try it with that wicked stuff. And stay tuned, and you're going to see the results of my very first whiskey sour. Okay, gotcha. We've done the um, sherry cask whiskey from uh, Imbue. Now tonight I'm going to venture out into a brand new cocktail and I must confess you're seeing it live on camera people. This could well be a tragedy in the making. Um, the uh, whiskey of choice is going to be Imbue's uh, sherry cast. Go and see the review, which I um, don't know, accuse Mick of, Mick of being other things, amongst other things, being my friend. Now, I'm literally reading this off another screen. So it says the ingredients are two ounces of the bourbon, so that's what, 50 mils. Oh, and we don't have bourbon, we've got whiskey. Um, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, an egg white, which is optional. I'm vegetarian at the moment, I prefer bourbon with my base, so no egg white. Also, I'm not going to waste half an egg. And Angostura bitters, which I forgot. So, What we're going to do is um, pour out, put a happy glass, and we're going to pour out, I assume, this is what, 52 ounces? I don't know. What's the point of measuring alcohol? I don't know, alcohol is fun. It's a bit like saying, no, I'll only take three giggles and then that's my, my evening total. It's, it's a, no. Alcohol is a solution. Wipe says that alcohol is a solution. Um, and there is no sound of happiness because this is a glass. So I will pour out what is hopefully a happy amount of, of whiskey, not bourbon. We're not in your all in the United States, your all. And yes, those of you, you in the US, thank you, Joseph, um, are now probably cringing. So I will pour out a healthy measure of this. And there's my high tech shot glass. Screw it. It's been that sort of thing. How can you contain happiness, people? Let's add a bit more. So, that's the, uh, the, um, the whiskey. Now, I got the knife. The knife is handmade from Songbridge Forge in Tasmania. Get a hold of Alvin. Put his address in the, um, right up on this baby. But this, it's sharp enough to cut through sarcasm any sharper and it would be parting the air in front of it. Here it goes. See, you saw it first on TV. So, I don't know. Lemons? Lemons aren't pretty because they're the lemons off my lemon tree in Melbourne. So we're going to push my fingers because this <laughs> mic really is very sharp. Um, and sacrifice two garden fresh lemons to the cause. So I'm going to give this baby a squeeze. I'm too lazy to go and get the um, lemon juicer. Okay, I must admit the aromatics of this um, these garden fresh lemons is just amazing. Um, makes me want to drink whiskey sours amazingly enough. Ah yes, I want to squeeze it at least as hard as my ex wife squeezed me. I don't think it ever squeezed me as hard as that. So, yeah. Now, the last ingredient after this, because there's going to be no egg white, is I'm going to do um, half ounce of simple syrup. Okay, I'm going to go a rough guesstimate and say, folks, that's a one of these. So, I'll add a little bit of lemon, more lemon to it, because I like it sour. Go get my vitamin C somehow. Yes. The 
these lemons have died for you. Oh, and if you're bored whilst you're watching this, how dare you, um, go and watch my interview with Mick. So I'm going to add one of these um, of simple syrup to this. Actually, I'll a little bit more. That was a lot of lemon juice. And then here is some, um, well, basically ice I prepared earlier. Um, it's supposed to be crushed ice. Um, yeah, shake, whatever. Um, I not yet that technical. I'm not rich enough to go affording proper cocktail making equipment. So you're basically going to get the um, review or the recipe that you would make at home were you to be as amateurish as what I appear to be. So here's a whole lot of ice being added to this wonderful whiskey. I don't want to choose that one, that one's whole. And basically, you're going to find out firsthand once I reach into the magic drawer in front of me and bring out the magic swishing stick exactly what I'm like when I have my very first whiskey. This is our live on TV, people. This is really very nice. Um, no great surprise. Um, it doesn't have the Angostura bitters, which I know from past experience really are at least as bitter as my ex-wife. They're very bitter, people. Um, yeah. The aromatics on it, the smell of happiness is abundantly lemon. Um, after all, they are garden fresh lemons. I picked literally two or three hours ago. I had to get some of my children to do something productive. Um, oh yeah, stuff like this is a hangover in the making. Um, I've never tried a whiskey sour in my life, in fact the idea of for a whiskey sour popped into my head when I was on my way to actually making money today. Well, may as well do it. So yeah, this is a whiskey sour using um, Imbue Distillery's uh, Sherry Cast. And do yourself a favour and go and make yourself half a dozen of these. And trust me, you won't worry about too much today. You might worry about an awful lot tomorrow, but your ability to give a rat's hooey about much of anything today is just gonna, and it's gonna, you know, go like a car's been stolen. The kid's just gonna run away. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is my very first whiskey sour, and I must admit, um, this is one recipe I won't be sharing with the other half. So thank you for watching and remember it's the Noble Bootlegger's um, Christmas pudding gin. Oh, watch for that one. July, Christmas in July, Melbourne does it, it's freezing cold, it's dark, you need alcohol to survive. Thanks for watching, subscribe, follow, and remember someone has to be my lucky 250th subscriber in YouTube and my lucky 1000th follower in Instagram. And it could be you. Looking at you, it could be you. Hit the button. Take care. Bye.